Right. <laughs> what a bloody morning, honestly. We're in the other suit because the other, me B suit's in the back of the other car, so sorry if you can't see me face. We've selected some ladies in here that are the pretty girls because we're going to put them in the observation hive, so we hope they've got their makeup on so they're all ready to look cool for you guys on the camera. What's going on, kids? I'm trying to make it so I can shut the gate so my dogs don't get stung to death. Otherwise, we'll be in all sorts of strife. Right, let's see what we can find. Yep, she slid up the back. <laughs> She's just slid, <laughs> slidden away a bit. It's like Aladdin's cave, isn't it? I got all excited having to put my bee suit on for nothing. The girls have all just gone in. They've got camera shy, they have. Reckon they know they're going to be filmed 24 7 soon, so they've gone, bloody hell, don't choose us. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Now, this is a little bit of a crazy plan a bloke's got going on. But this is the entrance to our observation hive. And I figure if I put the hive in here, then the ladies will get orientated to this spot a little bit. Well, when we do that this afternoon, because we're running out of time this morning, they'll know where they are a little bit, hopefully. Where the fucking support when a bloke wants it. You know, just masquerade that you think it's a good idea. Even you reckon it's stupid. <laughs> oh, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, that's the attitude. What do you reckon? Something like that? Perfect. Oh, here comes a girl. Look, she wants to be on camera already. <laughs> here we go. Nah, yeah, they've gone. We're not gonna bloody even come out to say hello. Hello. <laughs> That'd be right. After all that excitement, we're not even gonna come out and say hello to us anyway. Yeah, hello, handsome. Yes, yes, you can smell all that honey. You can smell all that honey, can't you? Yes, you are a lucky boy. You are a lucky boy. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Well, the lads left me to my own devices, so if you might remember, I smacked the bloody glass in half on the other door, which was very helpful. So while he's been away filming a bit of Blossom and talking to Nan, or my mum, his Nan, I've been here putting my new door on, so it's not a miracle that the glass fixed itself. I did manage to fix it. But one other thing I did, because you know how you are when you're a dad and you're left to your own devices, you get a bit carried away. I decided to put the mesh inside the hive. So I put a little bit of mesh at the top and the bottom. Remember we drilled the holes for the air. And so I've got some mesh now so the ladies won't be thinking that's the exit or the entrance or whatever. And we're about to stick it back on the wall. So very good timing that you turned up. Here's our special little door next to our bee box. I don't know whether putting the bees in here was all that sensible, but anyway, the things we do for you viewers, honestly, Oh, I tell you what. <sighs> to all you professional beekeepers, don't be too mean to me. I am doing my best to oh, entertain people and be eaten by a dog. Get off, lightning. <laughs> so if I get stung, it's all your fault out there in internet land. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is going to be stupid. So if you're wondering, my plan is we're going to do this so as you guys can watch us installing the bees in our observation hive. But then I'm going to put this box back out there so the field bees have somewhere to land and then I'll bring those frames in tonight. When, so you won't get to see that because me trusty cameraman's got to get home to his wife. Here we go, let's see what sort of madness we create. I might never be allowed back in my shed ever again. My ute's in getting a service and all the hive tools are in the back of that, so I'm reduced to this thing. I'm hoping this isn't a really ridiculously strong hive, which it isn't, which is good. Well, it is pretty good actually, they're pretty chilled out. 
We're going to find out how chilled out they are in a minute. I'm just thinking maybe we should have smoked them a little bit. Hell, I'm getting distracted all this excitement that's been going on here today. <sighs> We've had so much fun we don't know where we are. Forgetting some beekeeping 101 rules. Well these little ladies seem very relaxed for this project so I don't know. We we're going to find out. Hopefully they might be just the one, we might have picked the right ones for this to pop them in the shed. I reckon we'll put the honey honey frames at the top and figure out where the brood is and I don't know. Hey shit, I was just thinking, I was just thinking I haven't actually made the actual outdoor cover part but I'll have to figure that out when the lad's not here. Hello girls, <laughs> my little ladies, tell you what, you don't know what the hell's about to happen do you? They got a bit of honey on board here, which is good. Ooh. Put them up the top, I reckon. I hope we measured this shit right, otherwise we're going to look dopey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's new for you. Oh, shush. There's a bit of honey there, a bit of older honey. I think we might have to trim the bottom off of this one a little bit. But of course, lots. Sometimes it's easier said than done. It's got a little bit of brood there. So we might, I suppose we're screwing with their heads. So if we just turn it around and put the brood in the middle, it will be all right, won't it? Mm -hmm. I think we're messing with their heads anyway. They're going upright instead of horizontal, so they'll be freaked out. Hell, the dudes that reckon we got to make the angles right or have a fit today, won't they? Oh, shit! Damn it! <laughs> no, after all that. Sorry, chicks. Ah, fuck. Keep an eye out down there for her. Ah, shit. <laughs> Not quite perfect cut, I don't think. My little bits. <laughs> Sorry, chicks. <laughs> dear, dear bush bee man, you're a bloody worry. <laughs> oh, maybe we didn't quite cut them deep enough. <laughs> These must be slightly different frames, champ. Sorry, chicky babes. <laughs> oh, yeah, a nice, peaceful little house going. And then this bloody ruffian turns up. <laughs> God. Hopefully they'll recover from all this excitement. <laughs> I hope she's not bloody down here on the ground. That'll be shit. <laughs> Have a look at that. I'm doing very nicely here. Until we turned up. <laughs> shit. Just every frame must be just a twiddly millimetre different when you make them. So I'll just screw the door shut a little bit with my super duper hitch, <laughs> which is a bit dodgy, but anyway. Hang on. Damn it, that's not gonna work even. Far out. Well, at least they're bloody well behaved and staying together. <laughs> Normally, and wild bastards, they'd be like, fucking they're fucked off long ago, wouldn't they? She's in there, because otherwise that's going to suck balls. <laughs> to see how relaxed they are though, that's the cool thing about getting these um, nice strains of bees, rather than the feral bastards that we've got out there as well. And these are young bunyip bees, so... Cool. So these are the package bees we bought last year from the bunyip bee people. And um, so they're nice and relaxed, as you can see, they're not aggressive. Like you try this with some of the other crazy bees that we've got and they'd bloody rip your legs off. They'd probably eat you through the soup. But anyway, they're all happy just to try and stay together. And um, yeah, we're just hoping and praying that the queens have made it in there safe without getting in trouble. So 
So as you can see, this is the honey that's stored to the outside, but in an upright situation in, when you get into a house, they usually have the honey at the top, so that's why I put it up there. I've put some down the bottom, but we'll figure that out later. And in here, this is where the brood's just starting. She's actually been in here laying, because you can actually see the little larvae and the little eggs in this part, and the nurse bees are feeding away. The really cool thing about it is that it's similar to most insects. Once, they, once the larvae's done the process, you know how most, um, I guess a moth spins a cocoon to live in? But this cool situation is someone else puts them in a thing. They spin a little cocoon inside of here, which is really groovy, and the ladies put a little cap on the top so they can breathe. And then they spin a cocoon and turn into a bee, from a little worm to a bee, same as from a caterpillar to a moth. So the insect world's pretty cool. Just the upside to bees is we get honey from them, eh? Yum yum. <laughs> hey, you got a sting on your tongue because you're a silly billy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the bees in your yard, and that's a bit stupid. It wasn't totally planned. But the things, you see, even the dogs have to take a hit for the, for the Bush Bee Man show. Poor old dogs have even got to, got to accommodating for the bees. So <laughs> that's where the opening needed to be so we could film things properly. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you. The, these are the field bees. That was the hive that they recognised. So the field bees are all coming back. And they're depositing their, depositing their nectar on that frame we left in there. And then tonight, when that's all settled down, I'll just grab that box and put that frame inside the hive as well. And hopefully they'll be orientated to this spot anyway and they'll find their new opening and away we go. <laughs> made observation hive coming to you from the bush bee man well actually I could be called the shed bee man now <laughs> so anyway we're gonna hope to get some really wicked ass footage for you out of this which is kind of cool so yeah all right and anyway we have a, we're having a crack and go and if you want to see some more amazing shit like this flick over to the patreon page and you know flick us two bucks and hell you never know we might we might even be able to afford a proper one <laughs>